Hey yeah, everyone, Miyasity here. Welcome back. Today we're playing Darkest Dungeon 2 again, continuing on with our obsession confession, going into the Shroud with our bleeding crew. So let's get right to it and see if we can get the trophy that we want. I think we want. And hopefully this turns out well because everyone's kind of friendly with each other. Tested. A bomb Skill we're not going to gonna use, element. but if it bleeds, give Sermon Teeth. Something good. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Minus stress and minus stress on skills we use, that's great. And minus stress with her healing move and barbaric yaps we don't use. Okay. Propriety floats listless on the tide. Brined in noxious degradation. So I, I've been getting a little confused with these icons on first glance. So, okay, the layer is right here. That means I have to go to the Oblivion's Ingress. So I've been kind of getting it confused with the Oasis. To me, they look a little, a little bit con similar on first glance when it's scrolling by like that. So we're going to go to the Ingress. We're going to go to the layer. I guess means we're not going to get the creature den, which I would like, but that is what it is. And we're just going to keep going from there. I actually would like to try the Shambler's Altar, but it doesn't look like I can get to the lair from there. Brace up. There is danger on this path. And we do have our backup trophy, just in case we don't find the other trophy we want. This gives us extra food for our rabbit, or extra inventory slots for our food for our rabbit. They give the same thing, so. All right, let's tear him a new one. We are going to harvest. I think I want to get rid of the cherubs first if I can. I think they do a little more stress. Um, that being said, Dismas can't reach, so we're going to get rid of the Evangelist. With Al, we're going to Abyssal Artillery. And Bodica is going to bleed it out. Kind of whittling both of them down at the same time. Going at this one again. Nine bleed damage. It's going to go down in two turns. Uh, we are actually going to... Uh, I think we're going to harvest, yeah. Putting more bleed on them. That means I think this one's going to die on its next turn. Or go to death store, rather. Uh, Al can then probably pull this one in range or get rid of the dodge. And we're going to bleed this one out. Or at least try to. Um, encoring so I can try to pull both of them in range. We'll heal her later. If I pull this one and do enough damage, it's going to die. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Lead this one out. Open its vein, rather, I suppose. I heal Bodica. Also de stressing her, which is amazing. And because she can't do much else, put tilt. 
kind of sad that that did zero damage, but whatever. Al can then pull, and if nothing else, clear corpses. He is comboed, so we will do more bleeding damage to him. We are then going to bleed out. I think the cherub dies on its next turn. Harvesting to distress. Open vein, bleeding him out. Cunning. You may outwit them yet. Harvesting again for left dress. <laughs> it's amazing how that works. Healing. Oops, wrong button. And de-stressing. Death door, and then Bodika can take him out. Actually, we'll do this to heal a little bit more, and then next turn. Do stuff. Yeah, there we go. And less stress, yay. Unpleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. I don't think that's going to be a good one for us either. And Dead Ringer, it's just kind of a whatever. To me, at least. I, I can see its use if you don't have other trinkets, but speaking of which, um, I actually don't think he does. <laughs> Apply on hit days, and he can hit multiple people. And we can give him more stun resistance, so we might as well. I guess giving him move resistance. I, I said we want the lair. We're gonna go for the lair. Not sure how this is gonna work on the Leviathan. He's the boss I'm most sketched out by. Um, actually, before I get in there, move bleeding. Analysis is invaluable. Move bleeding, okay, and just in case we have an action. that. Yeah. Sacred Pier. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm a little sketched out by doing a Let's second one. The change. Second layer boss again, but uh, we, we can try this. Um, I'm gonna vulnerability hex this one so Odika can take it in. Uh, with Howling End, this should do enough. 47 crit, definitely enough. We are going to open vein on this other one. Victory supposes strategy. Part of the thing. Get them bleeding. Okay. We are harvesting again. Get that lovely bleed on them. We are going to demon pull this one, get rid of the corpse. Now everyone's in range. This one needs a little bit more of a push to die. However, if we do this one, he's going to get six to or four to six damage plus six bleeding damage. So I think we're going to go there. Ah, he resisted it. Well, Bodhi is back in range. He dies on his next turn. Thing. Get the other guy, and one dies there. We are going to Bone Hex again. Let's advance on this one. Now he should bleed out. Oh, no, not quite. That was not the right choice to put on him. We're gonna bleed him out. They falter, so press your advance. We're 
advancing. Definitely gotta get rid of that hit first. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that later, so we're going to harvest, getting it bleeding. The enemy weakens or at least him. We are going to demon pull him to get him in front. And we are going to Howling End to finish him off. Okay. Now we can focus on him. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. We are going to make sure he gets de-stressed. Wrong button again. Uh, actually thinking I want this guy down. Nope, missed, okay. Leading him out while we can. And we're going to toe to toe. Getting things attacking Bodica again. I think I'm going to encore her. That way we can rack a shrivelry. Then we are going to bleed out since we still have the taunt. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. We are going to try to pull him again. And we're going to open a vein. Ooh, he resisted that, really. This is no time to falter. Okay, we need to, uh... Help her out. Cooperation is the key. Oh, wow. Okay, healing her, first of all. Very good heal. We are going to duel advance, hitting him. Rackish revelry to heal and get stressed down. Raise her wit to hit this other guy. Collaboration confers advantage. A stupid plan here, but we're gonna extend this a little bit. Spire in tune to get his stress down. Um, we're actually gonna adrenaline tonic here. So I know we can get his stress down somewhat easy. Healing him. Healing Dismas. He's dazed, so that's okay. Then we're going to duelist advance him, killing him. And then he goes with death blow our overcome even the greatest of threats. Alright, we get what we need. Please combat stacking. No, we do not. If turn start extra turn start, if bleeding extra action and minus two bleeding received. That could be interesting. Um, not sure who I would give that on. I think that's actually what I was looking for, not a trinket. The Fisherman's Line. This serrated item is equipped 3 bleed, 33% chance. I think that's on attack. And the Wind Chime, which could be good for stress, and then some other good stuff like always going to use the playing cards. Iron Brazer is never bad, so we're, we're going to do this. Am I comfortable doing this right now? No, I'm a little sketched out. God is mortal. Oh 
Okay. So, open vein. A slow dissection. Get him bleeding. He only has 155 health. I know that seems like a lot. However, we can whittle it down. A master stroke. Taking ten, nine around now. Um, I'm actually gonna work on getting some stress down. I know I should be doing some other stuff, but uh, I think I want to do the weakening curse on him so he doesn't damage us as much. Twenty-four health on that. Okay, uh, with Odika, I have a plan. So let's do that. I want to get rid of her winded. So we are going to toe to toe. Then gonna vulnerability hex the hand to make sure we can take it out. We are going to take aim. And then we put that on him. <laughs> and then howling end. Let's see if we can do this. And down. Alright. Well, we can incurse again. That's what we can do. Yes, he resisted it. That's fine. We really are going to need to heal soon. Uh, we're going to get rid of her blind. And then we're going to open vein. All around. Um, I'm gonna heal her. I, I know I should be doing more damage, but. And then we're gonna harvest him, so we de stress and put some bleed on him and maybe combo him. Well, we didn't bleed, but we did get the combo. There's that hand back. That's what I didn't want to have happen. Alright, so harvesting, damaging them, bleeding them. Open vein, bleeding it. The fiend's strength dwindles. Emergency healing him. A little help impeccably timed. And I think we're gonna Vuln Hex the hand. Hopefully this doesn't turn out too bad. Come on, buddy. All right. And let's uh, take out that hand. This has a chance at doing more damage. Cooperation is the key. 15 around. Let's add that up a little bit more. I think that's what I want to do. No, we, we really need to get rid of that stress. And we are going to weakening on him again. Which was the right call with those crits. It's going to do something again. Alright, I have a stupid plan, we're gonna go with it. Let's go with Bodica, we're gonna bleed out. Fifteen around, we're then gonna 
vulnerability hex. Business is going to open a vein. Waiting for 18 around now. She can get this off. He's really not going to be in a good place. A brilliant conclusion. He'll be on death store on his next turn. So I just need to focus on surviving. And maybe dealing a bit of damage to him. That's what I really didn't want that to happen. Alright, so he's gonna heal himself. Actually, how much damage does this do to him? That death store then. Don't think we can do what I want, so we're gonna give dodge just in case. And death blow. All right. Ooh boy. Another mastery, more flame, and all the stuff I wanted. Uh, so we are going to keep the trophy from the. Four tier on over the Lashing Tides. However, the Carved Bodkin, that's an interesting one. I think I'm actually going to put that on Bodica. And then I don't have anything that's serrated. However, if I did, the Fisherman's line would actually be really good. So we're going to keep that around. And then just because we can now, I suppose. I think we're really well off now. We could get some better trinkets. We could definitely get some better consumables. But <laughs> I did not expect to be doing that. All right, so we're gonna start this off with harvesting. The enemy weakens and wanes. Measure and she's balance. already bleeding, so she got her thing. Judiciously. Gonna heal Dismas. We are going to bleed out on him because that's what's great about this trinket. Didn't get the extra turn, but that's fine. It's got six and 11, so we're gonna open a vein trying to take him out. Steady yourself. All right, Sermenti goes. I think we're gonna harvest again. Leading both of them, or at least trying to. That dog is being a pain. I think we're gonna open vein on this guy. Early results are encouraging. Looking at what she can do here. Um, I guess we're gonna have her heal herself and get rid of the winded. I want him to heal himself. I'm not too worried about her stress level and her managing it because for now he can basically remove their stress. Collaboration confers advantage. And he can remove Al's stress by doing that. Dogs finally bled. Um, we're gonna duel some fans to try to get the dog down more. Go to toe to get back to range. I'm just going to uh, demon pull to. I suppose this is gonna hit the dog, but get rid of the corpse. Have other people in range. And carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Let's 
he's going to be guarded once again. So let's just take out that dog. Actually, what we can do is get rid of the, the post and then Sarmenti can go and hit both of them. Sounds like a better deal. We're then going to heal up a little bit. He's going to go do something. We're not going to like it. Uh, Bodica really can't do too much against him right now, but that's okay. And let's see if we can't get him. All right. Greater threats await those who dare. Eh, I don't think I'll be using that, but we can take it just in case. And desperate few, desperate few. What can we get here? Stagecoach items, flame. In items, flame. Flame armor. I'm tempted to take the stagecoach items just because it might be like the ice box or something that can make food. On the other hand, in item could be food. <laughs> but let, let's do this. Tinker's bench. Nah, eh, whatever. Might be helpful, might not. Karmic shift. <laughs> Good one. You can tell uh, Sarmenti believes in that. Okay, we got stimulants, so that's really good to hang on to. I know exactly when I'm going to be using that. And ingress. Right, they all do the same thing. Probably should be doing it on the other people instead of Bodica, because Bodica's almost max affinity with everyone. Just get people back where I want them to be. We're gonna fade to black trying to get the chair. He can actually do what I want him to do from here. So we're gonna pull the altar. And he can do what I want him to do from here. So we're gonna open vein on the altar. Getting it bleeding. From here, we're going to bleed out the Evangelist. Don't care that it has all that guard, we want it to bleed. We're going to double up on that. Not sure. Oh, she got the extra thing because she was bleeding. <laughs> nice. So 12 bleed on this one. Uh, we can't. Oh, because we have to attack this one. So we are going to ball next it. We are going to... Yeah, let's do that. Let's encore him. So we can pull the altar. So it'll be in front when it moves. If it moves, I think it'll be in row two. This one, the first evangelist goes down to death's door on its turn as well. I am going to try to take out the altar still. And Bodica, since she can't bleed out there, is going to toe to toe and get rid of all that winded. We are then going to demon pull the cherub. Getting rid of the corpse, putting it in front for Bodica. Gonna open vein on this other one.
Oh, I don't think she can get her thing now. Oh well. What happens if we howl again? Did that kill it? No. So we're gonna bleed him. One health left after it bleeds. And we are going to Razor Wit the Cherub, just so it will die on this turn. Fade to black, so Dismas can be back in place to do things. We are going to Demon Pull this one, so it's in front. Now this one should die on its turn, leaving just the first row. And we can bleed it out. And actually, I'm going to Highway Robbery, stealing tokens. We are going to bleed it out. Bravo! It's got nine and nine, so it will go to Death Store, nothing else. However, yeah, let's on for Dismas. We're going to open a vein, sitting at Death Store. The fiend's strength dwindles. We are going to... I mean, I guess this doesn't really do too much because we don't need to de-stress, but then we're going to death blow pierce. Easy peasy. I really like this group. Burning resistance if we need it. And that's the one I wanted on the leper. And would go really good on the leper if I could get him with a combo ink. So I think I know how to use him next time. I was thinking I wanted the Oasis and then go to the Academic Study. Then we could actually go to the Hero Shrine and maybe get something for Atla to an unknown. That sounds like a plan to me. Primeval, water-worn monoliths were flung up from the ocean floor by some unaccountable tectonic action. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Stress down in flame or supplies. I'd rather get the supplies since we'd only be getting rid of one stress. And that's a combat item. I'm not sure that counts as food, but it's still a really good combat item. 10% heal, minus 3 stress. That'll be really good for the mountain. Rough patch on this does not seem like it would be a fun time. I would be freaking out. Study. Oh, it's this thing. I think. Let's go Sarmenti for the positive perk. Cosmic Hater. Is that all he got? 20% damage take less damage taken 20% more damage dealt and gain on hit minus one stress for 25% chance that's really good I think that's anything in the mountain then plus anything in the ingresses and ramparts the loathing festers I do not think I've had any, like, event things. It's just been, um, dialogue with Al here. Chapter 3. Some parts must die. Uh-oh. Terrible though it was, he would pay the price for power. All positive tokens. Your kit requires target more than 20 HP. Okay. Okay. 
kind of confused at how this works, but... positive tokens. Kill all positive tokens. Move all negative. Try to kill him. Don't know why I can't target this one. Debuff this one. what I'm supposed to do if they're not <laughs> above a certain health. Purge. Okay. The emptiness in him called out across boundless gulfs of unknown space. For nature abhors a vacuum. One to two damage, five percent crit requires self more than two empowerment when damaged. Oh, target takes two, two, or two for three turns. That doesn't seem too good to me. Maybe, maybe it gets maybe it gets better. And twenty percent resist, but I mean, that doesn't seem worthwhile. And he still doesn't have a very good way of getting empowerments. So maybe it's just me, but... Or I don't have the right for him. That, that could very well be too. Our protection has been stripped to its last. Fight, sunken monolith, speed and empower. Yeah, we're taking it. Ooh, he's new. What is he? Captain, 32 health. Okay. Let's start by bleeding the fish monster. And comboing him. Okay. And bleed out the big guy. A master stroke. Don't really want to figure out what he does. And Dismas can open a vein on him. Now they're all bleeding. Victory supposes strategy. Press on. Full model on him. He's almost dead already. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we are going to lead out again. Get rid of his guard, put some mass bleed on him. He at least goes to death store. We are going to abyssal artillery, actually. Um, probably won't be hitting this one. However, it does mass amount of damage. It'll bleed out and hits the dock. Encoring, so we can do the same thing. Now we will hit. Yeah. 
and we can open vein on the doctor putting it at the store. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. Oh, straight up death blow on the captain. Interesting. In crisis, Mastery point. No gain is in Minor heal drought. Meh. At this point, that's kind of a moot point. The loathing whispers. Never really paid attention to the crabs there. A lot of damage to the stagecoach, though. We're going to have to repair a lot of that. Okay, Oblivion Rampart. This is very doable. Range skills do less damage to him. That's fine. I think we're going to empower him. Or encore him, rather. We're going to demon pull. Fine, we are going to open vein will at least do damage and bleed him, whereas high work robbery wouldn't. We're then going to vulnerability hex him. I don't want him around. And Bodika, he's gonna take six damage and he has. 10 left, so if Odika does this, it's gonna kill him. 7 to 10 might even. Let's go to Toe, so she has that. And then we don't have to worry about the altar really anymore. It dies on its next turn. I know it's a pain in the butt for this one turn, but that is what it is. Let's see if we can't steal that crypt token. She is going to Howling and the Evangelist. I'm going to weakening the Deacon so he doesn't do as much damage with his AoE. Or that. He's stressing. Harvesting. Now they're bleeding. I'm gonna open a vein on the evangelist. Very nice. Collaboration confers advantage. Ah, uh, we're gonna vulnerability hex the evangelist. That way we can probably take it out. And toe to toe. Now the bleed will do its job. It'll bring it down to that store at least. Of harm. That way we're not doing moot damage with the heal there. Starmenti. Let's do Encore again. Because we're gonna demon pull this guy, getting rid of the corpse at least, putting him in front if we can, like that. Gonna open the vein, get him bleeding. Weaken them, that another may finish the work. Gonna bleed him out, getting him bleeding more. We are going to weaken and curse him, so he doesn't do as much damage. Ah, jokes on you, sir. Angelus dies. Sarmenti. Oh, nope, never mind. We're gonna Vuln Hex him now so he takes more damage. We're gonna bleed him out again. She goes again because of that. Doing the same thing, putting him at the door. Please. 
measured. And we're going to death blow pierce. Or death stored pierce. Which worked fairly well. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. If stained item is equipped, apply it to attacker when hit. If diseased, six blight. That could be useful if I was diseased, which I don't think I am. But that's gonna be a thing to hang on to. I definitely think I could get something out of that. Let's see what we can do here. We have one more region, unless we find a sluice through the mountain. The roaring heart does much for the weary body. Book Even burner. More, perhaps for the restless soul. As there is fruit scouting, stress knitter, and sprained wrist. Minus ten percent damage. Region goal complete for mastery. So let's use those mastery what points. We got seven more. Uh, so we can basically max people out now, I think. Um, like I said, I definitely want to take aim on him so that he gets the extra crit and speed. Sir Menti here. We're going to pass, but having Razor get do more damage and crit would be good. I don't. I don't know what else I would put on him. Better healing. Better healing would be good. And it doing less bleed to me. We're using Demon's Pull a lot, having it do more damage, having it do more of a pull. Um, unfortunately, it having the stun effect is not going to do too much for us. And that leaves us back with this. Howling and doing a lot more damage and crit. Sure. That leaves us with three. Uh, Dismas having Wicked Slice doing more damage and Piercing would be okay. Highway Robbery is already... I, I have to double check this. Yellow Hand. Highway Robbery skill steal positive token. So to me that makes it sound like that is now a worthless like investment. So we're going to go on other skills with these three points. So let's upgrade Razor Wit just in case. We're going to upgrade Abyssal Artillery because we've been using it more and having it do more crit and more damage is a good thing. Now he's fully upgraded. Thanks, our Menti's fully upgraded. We're going to get Odika fully upgraded because Rakish Revelry. Giving her Death Blow Resistance is a good thing. Having it heal her for more and removing less stress for when we do actually need to use it. Got the Morbid Joke again. So who needs what? He's Max with Sarmenti and Bodica. So I let's use it on Dismas and Bodica. Okay, that was not great. Oh, that didn't uh, do everyone like normal. So him and Bodica need some working on. Really need some working on. And I really don't have much for food items, despite the fact that I have the freaking rabbit. And that bugs me. Spend what you can. Or wealth no longer has meaning. So I'm kind of tempted to invest Indeed, in some it of this ever stuff. Did. There's an ice box that I wanted. And here is the griddle. So I could actually get that. Um, I only have two stimulants. I would like another set of those. Your coach must be. Don't really want the woven items. You must go. And I really need to repair. So unfortunately, what I could do is I could get the ice box, and that would get me quantity of food looted and resistance 
for food. And that would replace the pot and still, which I really don't need anymore. And then I could get the griddle, which would get me flapjacks, which amazing for food. And then I would just have to be wary about hazards and take that as it comes. Which I think I might actually do. I know that's kind of stupid of me, but whatever. And then we can stock up on a little bit of food here, because this stuff is cheap. And that'll get me an extra point of food, or a uh, health. I would like the whetstones for the bot mountain. And that should... And the Book of Creative Insults might be okay. Um, I don't have one of those, do I? It's easier for me to look this way. No. So having one of those would be pretty good as well. I'm going to pick that up, too. And then I think I'm actually going to buy steel bread for the extra health. A bit of comfort on the road. I haven't been very lucky with the food. And then that will be that. And then we can actually go to the schools, which is amazing. So we're going to do that. no sanctuary from this So next time we'll do the sluice, we'll do the next area after that, and maybe the mountain. And we'll pick up from there. And that will be the plan. Because we're kind of getting into the point where, like, everything's falling together really well. I'm really happy with where our skills are at for upgrades. Everyone has a lot of good stuff going for them. And I just, uh, oh, is it not saying where the rabbit's uh, health upgraded? Maybe it will be here. Two from the pet. And that's all we have. And four from the altar, 35 base, but minus seven from her pet. So that's not great. Um, so let's put some of this stuff on before I forget. Like I said, I really don't need the work loom. Configure. And need each as much as I would like the wind terms. chime, let's put the riddle on so we're making flapjacks. Don't need to use that for now, but we will be using that before the mountain and maybe the last area. Uh, just because the extra health might help us survive some of those huge hits. I think we're good from there. And like I said, I know we're going to have to deal with some rough patch stuff, but that is what it is. Uh, I'm, I'm a little more confident in this group, so we're going to end there. And we know what the plan is for next time, so as always, I wish you all well. See you next time, and please have a good one.